Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Check out this new release mini battery from High Sincere. That's right, it's a 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour mini version lithium iron phosphate battery with a built-in display on the top to show your voltage while you're using it. Budget price, gonna check it out today. So if you're looking for a full test teardown interview on this High Sincere Mini, you found the right video. Let's get right into it. So time for capacity tests on the High Sincere Mini. Uh, the battery's already been previously charged. It's been resting for 24 hours. I'm gonna hit it one more time on the charger to make sure the battery is completely full before the capacity test. All right, the charger just stopped on the High Sincere battery. 14 volts right there, I got the meter on it. I'll show you on the display too in just a second. So you can see the charge indicator light on the charger is complete. Indicating 13.81 volts with the standalone meter and then the built-in display on the battery, 13.7 volts. So the battery is connected to the capacity test rig, the same setup I always use. So you can see 13.5, 13.6 volts right there. And coming up to the energy meter has been cleared out. No energy has moved out of the battery yet. I've not turned the inverter on. So now we'll turn on the inverter. All right, so now I apply the load to the high sincere battery. It is a battery charger charging another battery. So we'll let that settle in and get a final current and wattage reading. The battery is still at 13.47 volts as the load's picking up. 13.4 there, and the battery temperature at the start of the test is 81.6 degrees Fahrenheit or 27.6 Celsius. All right, so recording the load for the duration of this capacity test on the high sincere, 53.7 amps is the load, 695.8 watts, 12.94 volts, and then 13 volts right there already at the start of the test. And the capacity goal is of course 1280 watt hours. About to cross the halfway mark on the High Sincere Mini. So there we go, estimated halfway. So just hit the rated capacity on the High Sincere Mini. The battery is down to 11.9 volts, so not much more left in it. All right, the inverter just shut down on low voltage. But the BMS is still active on the high sincere. So the final tally, 1,328 watt hours, almost 104 amp hours out of a 100 amp hour rated battery. Not too bad. So if we take the final numbers, 1,328 watt hours divided by 12.8 volts. That gives us 103.75 amp hours of capacity or roughly a 3.75% bonus. So what comes with the battery if you decide to purchase one of these units? Well, of course you get the battery itself. You get a eight page user manual and you get a set of terminal bolts and caps. And one thing of note of this battery that's unique from others on the market in this category, this battery is using M6 terminals. So the bolts and the terminals are threaded for M6 instead of M8 like most other 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour batteries. And the High Sincere is a true form factor mini. Here is a Group 31 12.8 volt lithium iron phosphate for comparison. Surely you can see how much smaller the High Sincere is. So the mini batteries don't have any foam or anything between the cells and the cases most of the time. We'll find out more about that later, but the Group 31s usually have the cells and a bunch of foam around taking up room. So a lot of space savings going with mini batteries. And this mini battery weighs just a little over 20 pounds, so it is on the lighter side. You know, it's basically just the cells and a little bit of plastic, no fluff. And here are the actual case dimensions on the High Sincere Mini. Very, very small. This is the product specification listing for the High Sincere Mini. You can pause the screen and read further if you need to. And nothing else of note in the user manual, just pretty basic, just showing you how to series or parallel them to get whatever you need out of the battery. Uh, not the best manual, but hey, that's okay. And a nice feature on top of this battery is this little voltage display right here. It turns on green. Let me kill the light so you can see that. And you can see it's got a backlight on it so you can check your voltages in the dark. And you turn the display off and it goes away. And if you leave it on, it'll stay on in perpetuity. It will not turn off. So make note of that if you're using these batteries that you have to 
turn the display off or on manually. There's no timeout. And the logos and decals on this battery is not a decal, it's not a sticker, that is a silk screen. So that's a pretty unique feature I've not seen with very many manufacturers actually use a real silk screen on the battery instead of just a sticker, you know, just a generic sticker. So they did go extra step and do that. We have a nice carry handle on the top, we have brass terminals on it, and we have a warranty seal right there with the date indicating 3 of 2025 apparently. Time for the teardown portion of today's video on this high sincere mini so one last look at it i'll take the lid off and we'll see how it's made the warranty seal is still intact won't be for long well i wasn't expecting a labyrinth seal along with screws so i'll show you more of the labyrinth seal in a second but finally getting the lid off this battery uh, they had it sealed up pretty good on this little unit right here right off the bat you can see that labyrinth seal i'm talking about right there they had sealant on both sides of the seal plus screws in the top so very secure start up here on the lid there's a little display on top it's basically just a voltage meter so you can see the positive lead goes over here to the positive cable and then the negative lead comes over to the negative cable so just a voltage reference point spin you around this way get a little bit better look at the wiring so we have two number eights on the negative lead right there and then on the positive lead that looks to be a six gauge Yep, six gauge right there. Six gauge, 200 degree jacketed on the positive lead. And all the connections on this battery are super tight, nothing loose, nothing moving around on this battery. So I like seeing that. And over here on the side of the BMS, we'll look at this closer in just a minute, but there's a common negative bus bar coming up from the cells right here instead of wires like you normally see. It looks like we do have a NTC sensor on this board right here. They're not marketing uh, this battery is having low temp protection or anything like that. We'll have to see once I get down in the pack. So we'll take a little closer look at this BMS in a minute, get a little bit better camera angle, but you can see you know, 100 amp BMS matches their marketing. It does have a pretty robust heat sink for a 100 amp rated BMS. I'm curious to see what's going on right here. So let me dump the, dump the cells out of this case if I can. There we go. Now we'll look at it a little bit closer. Hey, those cells look familiar. I've seen those before in another battery. Those are like great power cells. We'll look at that closer in just a moment. All right, so let's look at the cells, top of the cells right here first. I'll put one of these through a QR scanner in just a moment and verify the manufacturer if I can. Uh, if you notice right off the bat, I don't know if you can see that the way I'm seeing it, but uh, they about missed right there. They got that little connector a little bit out of line. You can see the other ones are nice and straight, fairly centered over the actual terminals. That one right there is kicked off way out of center uh, i mean it didn't affect its capacitor or anything but just making note of that if you can see on the other one on the connectors right here you see the top of the cell they got the little guide mark and the dot down in there you know that one just completely missed you look down here you see the guide dots our balance and sensing leads are all tight with extra sealant and that's one good thing about this battery too they have sealant everywhere and it is some kind of ridiculous epoxy sealant it's not the normal like silicone caulking that you normally see this stuff is serious whatever they used and there's no external compression no tie bands no tape or anything like that they're relying solely on the case to hold these cells in compression they've got about an eighth inch of high density foam on either side right there then in between the cells is double-sided adhesive uh, tape in there and just kind of relying on you know just compression from the case to hold it together and we do have some fiber tape holding these balance and sensing leads down but they taped it right over the relief but i think if that relief was to go it could blow that tape out of the way right there so just make a note of that i have to put it right here or maybe right here to leave the vent open but you know, just making notes of everything i'm seeing and here's a close-up of one of the qr codes on the cells so I'll run this through a code scanner to verify if these are in fact great power cells and see if there's any other information I can find out. So as suspected, you know, that number did look familiar and those are great power lithium iron phosphate cells. Pull the foam off of the bottom of the cells here to show you if everything looks clean and pristine on these cells so they appear to be brand new cells 
And the only data on top of this battery management system in this high sincere battery, we have a X4 right there. So I'm assuming just that's our de designated for 4S. Looks like we have a model number possibly right there. And looks like we possibly have a serial number right there because it's got a 24 on it. So it looks similar to a serial number. Like I said, I cannot verify any information on this BMS because I cannot find anything about it. And there is double-sided high-density foam, but uh, they did not pull the backing off of the high-density foam to glue it down to the top of the epoxy board. I mean, it's not going to move or anything because you can see where the heat sinks fans were in this foam on top of the case, but I mean, still. Now it's not going to go anywhere for sure. All right, so I'm going to check how well these cells are matched. That's a full discharge and very minuscule uh, recharge on this pack right here. So we're sitting at 12.76 volts. So the cells was you know drug all the way down. I popped them just enough to bring them back up above 12 volts. So let's see what the cells look like. 3.185, 3.181, and make sure I got good connection. So that that cell right there may be why the charger stopped at like 14.2 i don't know if you noticed that during the charging before the capacity run but the charger got to or the voltage on the battery total got to about 14.2 and then the charger jumped up to 14.6 so i bet this cell uh, was a little bit of a runner and went above its cell over voltage protection on the board and stopped it and one more thing on the bms we'll move on to something more fun you can see there's two, it's hard to see on the camera, but there are two white wire leads right there and a high temp thermal switch right under that heat sink. So letting you know that it does have high temperature thermal protection on the BMS itself for high discharge currents and things like that. So I got the NTC sensor pulled off of the side of the cells right there. So I'll check high temp charge protection first. I got the power supply on charging the battery. So if it's got functioning high temp charge protection, when I apply heat to the sensor, you'll see the current drop to zero right here once we reach our trigger point. So I'll put the sensor in front of the heat source right here and here we go. Wow, that was very quick, less than 10 seconds. All right, back to charging, excellent. So I'm gonna check for low temp charge protection on the battery. I've got my sensor off this meter strapped to the NTC sensor from the battery. Now, low temp protection is not indicated by the manufacturer in their advertising or the manual at time of filming, but I'm gonna check anyhow and see if it's there. So I will wrap it up in the ice pack right here, monitor the temperature here, and if it's functioning in there, we'll see the current drop to zero right here. All right, we're below freezing now. All right, that's over a minute at 16 degrees and did not have any low temp charge section, which again, they didn't advertise that, but I was just checking. I'm gonna share my final thoughts on the high sincere 12.8 volt 100 amp hour mini with display on the top. Uh, it's, it's an average battery, it really is. Uh, we had over capacity, you know, overrated capacity on the cells, great power cells there, a middle of the road cell. I'm not familiar with this BMS. I've never seen that before, so I don't even know the manufacturer, any data on this BMS right here, you know, anything like that. A little bit of sloppiness uh, on the build. Uh, I wouldn't say below average overall, but let's just I'll say average on that as well because, you know, missing a couple things here and there wouldn't affect its functionality by any means. It's just some oversights during the manufacturing process. And having the built-in display on the top of the battery is a unique feature, especially for a mini size format. I mean, excellent seal on top of the battery. I don't know why they couldn't get this rated or didn't rate this as IP67 or anything like that, because with that labyrinth seal plus the screw lid enclosure, uh, pretty good water tightness. And probably they didn't rate it at that because of the uh, capacity meter on top. So maybe if they took that out and had an IP67 rating where you could use this outside on your RV and stuff, that'd be a cool feature to have. 
and at time of filming, this battery is right in line ballpark with all the other general purpose energy storage batteries. And I guess that is a proper term to use for this battery. Since there's not any low temp protection or anything like that, you know, average size wires, just average overall construction. In the mini size format though, you can fit a lot of mini batteries in, you know, a compact space. And I always like seeing mini batteries and like to see how they're made and how the manufacturers fit them in these small cases, you know. So I do appreciate that, that it is a mini and it delivered above average capacity. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, the M6 terminal bolts, you know, it's a little bit oddball. So if you stocked up on M8 terminals for your cabling and stuff, and then you get this, it's an M6, you know, that might throw a wrench in your work. So be aware of that as well. So please let me know what you think about this high sincere mini battery. Please share your thoughts on it too and what you think about it. I have a convenient link in the video description down below so you can easily find this battery and check current price points. So I appreciate y'all watching today. Any other questions or anything, put it in the comment section down below in your request as well. Hope y'all enjoyed. Y'all take care. Be safe. I will see you on the next one. Special thanks to High Sincere for providing this battery sample for today's video so I could test and demonstrate your battery's capabilities. Thank you.